it only took seconds for an end of term party to turn to utter tragedy. At just before 10 this morning, a Land Rover ploughed across the grass into a building at the study prep school, a private all-girls primary in Wimbledon Common. Police, the fire brigade, ambulance crews and even the air ambulance all raced to the scene. 16 people were hurt and one little girl lost her life. Our officers, along with colleagues from other emergency services, provided first aid to a number of people who had been injured. Very sadly, one of the children, an eight-year-old girl, died at the scene. Our thoughts are with her family at this incredibly difficult time. An appalling end to the year at a quiet, much-loved school. A young child on the last day of term, celebrating the end of term with friends. It's also tragic um, in the impact it's going to have on a huge number of other uh, young children and family and friends across the community. Very much a Wimbledon school, so lots of Wimbledon families will have children or had had children here. Indeed, many years ago, my own daughter went here. Uh, and it's built a sense of community, not with, only within the school, but in the wider Wimbledon area. And so the effect tonight will be felt very deeply. As the tow truck arrives to take the Land Rover away, we know the police are continuing to scour the area for evidence and to try and work out what happened here. As all day, we've seen injured and traumatised schoolgirls being led away from the school, holding tight onto the hands of their shaken parents. This has horrified an entire tight-knit community. I mean, I'm just shaking. I can't believe this has happened like five minutes down where I live and I just don't understand why it's, it's and children of all people as well. In a statement the schools say it is still far too soon to fully understand what happened but we are well aware of the significant impact this dreadful event will have on our pupils and their families. Their welfare remains our top priority and we will be doing everything we can to support them especially those who suffered injuries. Police were quick to say they weren't treating this as terror-related and a woman in her 40s has been arrested on suspicion of causing death by dangerous driving. Now a school community must come to terms with what happened here as a family faced the unimaginable loss of their eight-year-old daughter. Rachel Venables, Sky News, Wimbledon.